Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today, we're gonna take a look at VFX Key Mapper, a great tool to quickly create chords, different progressions, different ethnic styles with just one key press. The way this works is that it works inside of Patcher and it will receive your keystroke first and then send it to your desired synth. Remember to smash up the like button and let's get started. So I have Patcher loaded up and we can see Adding VFX key mapper, I added FL keys. Make sure that you have an output going right to FL Studio. So we have that. Let's drag this input into VFX key mapper and then from VFX key mapper into FL keys. So again, it's taking the data, the keystrokes on your keyboard or in piano roll from FL into key mapper, into FL keys and into the output. And going through these different presets, there's many different presets you can go through. Uh, we're gonna start with just a basic one like chords minor progression. I'm just gonna go ahead and press one note. And again, I'm just pressing single notes. And there's some other features as well. I like this multi-mode, so it's nice because you can just keep spamming that single button and cycle up or go random, but within the boundaries of that progression. So for instance, if we use cycle up and I'm gonna go ahead and keep pressing the same note. And now a different note, but again, the same one over and over. You can do an ARP without having to worry about am I in the chord progression. So I see this as a great way for building blocks and to stray away from the typical chord progressions that you might be used to making. Now, what else can we do with this? I have chords minor progression. Let's go ahead and just press on some single notes, do a basic rhythm. I'm gonna put this back on all and I'm gonna go ahead and play a basic rhythm. Maybe you wanna change some notes. You can change these blocks. Right click, it just clears it all. If you left click, you can add additional notes in that field. Just keep in mind, you need to make sure that you do it accordingly. It's not gonna be intelligent to correct it because it's about breaking the rules too. What Dead Mouse Cashmere do often is that it's not always minor. Often it's bridged from minor to major and there's different nuance. And let's go ahead and change the ones above this. Just with a little bit of nuance, you can see the G sharp consistent, the C consistent. So again. That's very basic, but again, it's the power because we can visually see just what we're doing in a single rectangular block. I love this. And I'm just pressing single notes so you can get as sophisticated or as basic as you wish. Now there is this, the bass key. Let's see what happens if we change. So it seems like it's going down or up the place of origin. There's also offset. I haven't experimented much with the offset yet or pitch slide. I think I'm gonna revisit this in piano roll. Let's take a look at what I did over here. Let's connect to this and let's go ahead and, and disconnect that. Connect that to FL keys. So here's another example where these three I changed. I wanted to start low and build my way up. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff that we have too. So we have like fifth down or up. And again, like the possibilities, like imagine you route this through Nexus or Serum or Silent One or Massive. It's going to be insane. Like you can just quickly try out melodies. You can quickly just see without going to piano roll up and down, up and down. Think of the time saving that you'll have just by going and playing triads. 
or even this, I loved this one. Experiment and listen. Again, it's important to learn and have an ear for listening because of course we have to trust our ears. That's what's the most superior over any type of quote unquote theory. But again, here, I'm gonna play single notes on my keyboard and I can't do this in piano roll. It'll totally mess it up, but check this out. And I just went from Z to question mark on my full size keyboard and we're just playing an Arabic scale. Likewise, there's like blues scale, diminished scale, all these different scales. I really like this one also. There's one that's like a Japanese style. Very nice, gives me some kind of samurai vibes. So overall, super impressed with this. Throw in a patcher instance in your channel rack, throw in VFX key mapper, and then route to your desired synth. The possibilities are endless, and this is just something that is incredible. I'm really excited to see what you guys create. I'm really excited to see what I can create with this, with just more efficiency and getting more inspired from the sound. So guys, I'm gonna be revisiting VFX. There's some other plugins also that are pretty crazy, mind-blowing. I've been checking them out. Let me know, guys, what your experience has been with this plugin. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash up the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that way you're alerted of the uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.